I always be ready. <laughs> Hello, guys. <laughs> Wait, I can I cut? <laughs> yeah, hi everyone. I'm Michelle Fox, and I'm very much proud that I am 35 years old, and I'm from Philippines. Uh, basically, I'm working right now a personal secretary in oil and gas company here in Vietnam. And I am a beauty queen in the Philippines and I am passionate about um, uh, beauty pageants joining and decide that I am here like I love drag show. I love um, the passions of makeups and fashions about the styles and that is me. Oh, and sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I'm enjoying it. <laughs> like, so who am I? I am the Asian Prince of Darkness, the mama of House of Illusion, Prince Illusion. <laughs> I'm serving you the soul of a man and the heart of a woman. <laughs> um, I'm a dancer, performer. Um, we've been doing drag for like four or five years and I'm having my own house with most of them is local Vietnamese. It's a house for all the um, lost soul, the um, abandoned child, mistake, <laughs> what I call them, or um, just whatever freaks, um, wherever, you know, it's a place for um, all the lost kids to feel safe and just be themselves. To me, like to be femme, it just simply is to be a human because um, we all need the masculine side and the feminine side. Um, so yeah, like for the masculine, it's about like, you know, the strength, the power, the um, intellectual, the um, come and get it get what you want like action and all those kind of shit and um for the opposite the feminine side is more about the feeling the intuitive um art beauty and um you know it's about expressing your feeling like your true self Okay, my definition about being ham is like we are showing the true colors of who we are and the beauty and the personality of itself or each perfor performer. And as what I believe, we don't need to hide ourselves in the dark closet. We are here to celebrate the happiness, the true colors in life. That's why we are here to enjoy life in the foolish. So, that is fab for me is like we are showing the personality the beauty and the talent of the person we live in a very masculine world you know like when we always have to be successful and get the shit done so um being feminine like is a thing that a lot of people decline because yeah, a lot of people seeing it as a weak thing, but it takes a lot of strain to be feminine, um, to expressing it, I think. Because to be facing your vulnerable, um, to be expressing your true feeling and just um, doing all those kind of stuff, that is more strong than a lot of masculine can bring up <laughs> like to me i don't like bashing like any of those like like to me i think like we need to balance those things like you know masculine and feminine the yin and the yang like we're all born with it and like you know society is a fucked up place and um they box us up and like oh we have to act this way or that way so yeah, I think it's important why we're here today. Um, it's because like a lot of people don't appreciate the feminine 
part. So um, yeah, let's fuck it and show them like feminine is a great aspect and um, we're gonna celebrate it. I know that the fact that um, LGBT community plus is one of the top um, nowadays, like um, not all the country, not all the people are open-minded for such things. Some of people will be still discriminate for some of trans or whatever gender it is. Men or women, bisexual, lesbian, or whoever you are, we are all we are all equal of a dignity of rights, and we don't have a right to judge for anyone or what gender it is, the person itself. The most thing is that we will do and to to put in our mind, we should to have a respect one another boundaries because we are all human being. And the end of the day, I create with my own life. You have own life. Mind your own business, and that's what the thing is like. It's really hard to, um, what's it called this? It's really hard to, um, to tell people that I am a trans, I am a man, I am a gay, because not all people will, will always to applause or all, not all the people will be proud of you. But for me, as long as I did not hurt anyone else, I'll be continue for loving myself, show to the world that I am very much proud that I am part of LGBT. I am a trans woman and I am Michelle Fox. Yeah. Hi! Wow. I think it's, there's a lot of improvement compared to like the past, just like even compared to just like 10 years ago. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, I've been in the gay since pretty early. Um, yeah, like the past generation carrying a lot of the pain. And um, yeah, you know, just being like, not being that appreciate in the society. So um, yeah, like they carrying a lot of the pain and burden. And um, sometimes it's making like the scene, a lot of drama happen and those kind of stuff. Um, Cause yeah, I understand it's, it's coming from like what they have been through. Like they're having like a rough time growing up. So yeah. Yeah, we fucked up the, the scene in the past. <laughs> But um, now we're here and like we're like recreating the scene and like it's stronger than ever. And um, yeah, people have more compassion and um, which is like being ourselves and uh, growing and doing what we love. And yeah, I think the most important is that just being accepting and be seeing as a normal person because like i don't think we need empathy or like oh you're so brave or like all that kind of shit I, I don't think people in the community need that like what we need is to be like seen as a normal people and um just being freely doing what we want and not being caught at like something coming out from hell. <laughs> um, I, I love doing that concept though. <laughs> That's the most concept of the House of Illusion. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can say to all the people that don't miss these kinds of event because this is a one of um, fabulous event ever and I can encourage you to watch and join with us this coming March 26, 2022. Let's come and let's enjoy the night with a pool of love and prosperity. Thank you. Um, Come and exploring your feminine side. We'll have you with that. <laughs> and um, yeah, just having a day to like celebrate 
the feminine side, which is like, you know, not the thing that we get to celebrate every day. So like, just come and like, be proud of that part of yourself, whether that you're a man or a woman or not in between or straight or gay, it doesn't matter. Like, I believe like we all have that side. So like, it's a, gonna be a great um, chance to like exploring your different side, your femininity, femininity. and um, yeah, just celebrate and just not have to feel ashamed of it. <laughs>